What's going on guys? Today we are going to create a simple login form in csap.net using Windows Form application. So let's do it. First of all, you need to have a couple of things installed in your system. That is the main thing, the Visual Studio 2022. If you don't know how to configure Visual Studio 2022, you can watch one video that I recently created. So the link is in the description section. So after installing uh, Visual Studio 2022, let's open it and then click on create new project and then from here search windows form and then select c -sharp windows form application click next and give the project name and then click next and then click create now it will take some time to open a Visual Studio because it is a bulky ID, it takes some time to render it. Now, after rendering uh, Visual Studio, now uh, let's expand this a little bit. And from the tool, if you don't do this toolbox, then simply go to View and then select that toolbox. It will uh, display that toolbox windows here. Now select this uh, form and go to properties or simply right click, go to properties and from there you can uh, change the background color, select that background color and then you can choose from here a variety of color option. I'm going to choose this one. There you go. Now uh, from the toolbox, drag and drop button, one button and then text box and then another text box and then two labels and then one picture box now let's uh, rearrange all these controls and go to properties after selecting and that you can see the property window here and change the text of button to login here from property text properties login you can also change the font size also from the font property here font and then let change to tubel in this way you can change the a font of all these controls you can also change the background of this also. So go to property and change the font color of the text. In this way, you can change the font color. You can also change the background color of this button also. Go to properties again and uh, there you can find background color properties and you can change in this way. Now select that labels and go and change the text to username. And password again. Change the password and simply select that and press control and then select that text box and then you can change the font it once. You don't have to do it individually. Go to font property and change it to like that now in the picture box select that and choose the image and then click that local import and i save my image here and open and click ok and uh, size mode let's resize this to zoom there you go now this is a simple nice login form and select the form and you can change the text of this form as well to login form. There you go. Now double click that login button. It will automatically create the clicking event of this button. Now here.
what I'm going to do is a string username is equal to first of all go back to design and we have to change the variable name also here select that text box and here change the name to txt user and same processor password also here goes txt pass and one more property of this text box scroll down and you can choose use system password character to choose so that your password is so that your password will be hidden when you run this application so go back to source code dot cs file and uh, string username is equal to txt user dot text uh, when the user enter text in that text box uh, we are going to save that value in the username variable here string password is equal to txt pass dot text and if username is equal to admin this is a simple login form so we are not going to connect it to database we are going to pass the value statically here and then we are going to display a message box dot so login success uh, by the way if you want to know how to create a login form using sql server database i already created one video the link is in the description you can uh, look at that also and again use the registration form also else message box dot so login error simple simply save that and then run your application there you go this is a simple login form and looking nice uh, enter username admin and then password admin click login message to display login success and if you enter other than admin and admin message to display login error now if you want to uh, display a better message box what you can do is stop your program and go back to source code and from there what you can do is here comma comma info and then message box button dot ok save that run again and here goes admin admin login and there you can see uh, there is a message box information okay so that's all in this video tutorial guys if you want to create a more complicated that is a login form that is connected to server or database then uh, you can have uh, that also i also created that video so the link is in the description you can check this out and thank you once again for watching this video share this video with your friends so that they can know about these tutorials and give thumbs up which really motivates us to create such programming video and stay connected with us and keep subscribing because we have a target of uh, reaching 100k this year so help us with that also and have a good day bye bye